Teen suicide is something no one wants to think about, let alone say out loud. But the first step in preventing it is to start talking about it. We're in Colorado, but we're just like any teenager in any state. And it's important for you to know that teen suicide is on the rise in our nation. Recently, a group of us had the opportunity to sit down with Mrs. Jeannie Ritter, the First Lady of Colorado. We wanted her, and now you, to understand that teen suicide is a real issue that we face. As First Lady of Colorado, I've had this great opportunity to come out on behalf of uh, some of the real important issues that we struggle with in our state. And I'm here today with a couple of my uh, young friends to talk about uh, the issue of teen suicide. Uh, we talk about um, the importance of this issue uh, being brought to the forefront. And I like to use the analogy of tables, whether it's our dining room table, whether it's the, in the teacher's lounge, whether it's our board tables, corporate tables, uh, very few circles uh, don't have a connection to this issue. And you guys, uh, talk about that if you will, if you can tell that story again, Jake. Uh, yeah, I was in my leadership class and I didn't mean to do this, but I have no problem speaking. And so we, we had a leadership, we were supposed to give a speech. It's something you're supposed to be passionate about. And so, of course, I didn't write my speech tonight before like I was supposed to. <laughs> be honest. And so I woke and talked about second wind. Sure enough, uh, the girl right behind me started crying, talking about how she had thoughts. And then people, person after person, they scratched their speeches they were supposed to give. And they just talked about how it was important to them or a friend. And like you said, you open up and talk about it and you'd be amazed. The whole entire classroom went yeah. from kids who had making fun of each other who now just everyone was quiet and actually listened and cared. Yeah. Even though you normally see the top of our heads because we're texting our friends, we do want to talk to adults about issues that are important to us. Sometimes we just don't know how to bring up something as serious as teen suicide. About one in four teens have more than passing thoughts of suicide each year. This is an issue we want to talk to you about. It's hard to go to the guys on like the football team or I play lacrosse too and talk to them about how you're feeling that day or how you've had these thoughts or how someone else is having these thoughts and how to go about dealing with them. Well, it's definitely against our instincts to talk about it, but it's very important to know that by talking about it, we're able to help our own generation and generations after us to know that there is hope. I had a friend last year, she was one of my best friends, and she committed suicide and she had actually told one of her other friends that she was thinking about doing it and stuff and she made a promise that she wasn't gonna tell anybody and she kept it a secret. And now um, the friend who she told has to go through counseling for herself because she knew what was gonna happen and she didn't say anything. Right, right, a real, and I think that poses, um, I mean, again, what we're talking about here is permission, right? So giving each other permission to talk about that these thoughts are real, but also, uh, you know, knowing that you 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 can give yourself permission for breaching that confidence, and and especially, um, you know, to save somebody's life. Teen suicide is a real issue. Every teen you know is affected by teen suicide in some way, whether they're having suicidal thoughts of their own or whether they're struggling with the dark thoughts of a friend. Well, I had a friend who was having some trouble, just with life in general, things were getting hard, stresses at school, but she, and she was able to talk about it with another friend and they referred her to a therapist and she was able to get help right away and now knows how to deal with everyday things and mm -hmm. she's doing great now and is back to her normal self. Mm -hmm. It's really great. This isn't just a, a parental responsibility, uh, that if you've created a relationship with uh, a babysitter the kid who sacks your groceries, you know, you're, the kid who mows your lawn. Um, there are lots of ways to say, you know. Uh, and, and the other thing is, uh, this uh, we don't help matters by not talking about it. Get involved. Take interest in someone. Learn about them. Find their life. And also, don't assume. It could be anyone. It could be your neighbor. It could be, like I said, the team captain. It could be the person who is lonely, the person who does fit the mold, but there is no mold. That's realism. It affects everyone. Here's the good news. Suicide is preventable.
Colorado has an organization called the Second Wind Fund that pays for immediate one-on-one -on -one counseling for suicidal teens. Second Wind pays for a lot of sessions, enough to get the teen through their darkest times. One-on-one -on -one counseling from professionals is the key. Second Wind's results speak for themselves. As far as we know, not one of the thousands of kids that have been referred to the Second Wind Fund has been lost to suicide. What's exciting for someone in my role uh, as a, a first spouse um, in Colorado, we've got seven years now of uh, a, a great track record, if you will, um, for the outcomes around Second Wind. And now to be able to take uh, Second Wind to other states and to say we've got a, a great blueprint for a way to really curb the incidence of uh, teen suicide in your state and to be able to share that across the nation is, and this intersects, you know, with so many other issues, I think it's a, a perfect opportunity for states to be able to implement Second Wind programs and to really begin to see uh, positive outcomes. Now is your chance to help reduce teen suicide and save a young life. There are three ways you can help us. First, start talking about teen suicide. At home, at work, and even with your friends. Secondly, if you have a second wind in your area, find out how you can support it. It takes only $480 to save a young teen's life, and who knows what that young person will go on to become. Finally, if you don't have a second wind near you, contact Second Wind to find out how to get one to help the teens in your community. Your efforts with Second Wind could save a teen you know. When you save a young life, you, you uplift, uplift an entire community. community.